Night Song is a light sculpture atop the Rolling Hills radio tower that's installed at the Rolling Hills Water Treatment Plant, which successfully reinvents the commonplace radio tower, which we see everywhere in our landscape now, to again link it to the excitement and the modernity that it saw in the 1930s. Artists Connie Arismendi and Laura Garnsway were the artists on this project. They took their inspiration from the 1930s logo from the RKO Radio Pictures, which shows a radio tower that essentially um, visibly illustrates what the tower does. And this inspired them to do the same with today's radio towers, with five rings of light that graduate from small at only 12 foot in diameter to a 50 foot diameter ring of light located at 460 feet in the air as the largest ring on this project. Every night, the artwork is illuminated with a dynamic color changing program that uses many different animations and patterns and the colors are pulled from a palette of nature inspired colors that the artists have used. They were inspired by the cool blues of Texas swimming holes and in autumn the colors of the changing leaves and in the spring colors of blue bonnets and other flowers that are blooming. The color program changes four times a year on the solstice and the equinox, as well as an additional 4th of July program, which is very celebratory. In addition to being an innovative artwork and one of the only artworks atop a radio tower in the US, it also serves a function. The tower was replacing an existing tower which had reached the end of its lifespan. I think the real uh, crux of this whole thing is the is the fact that this is our public safety radio system for police and fire primarily, but we also use it for transportation and public works, water department, and we have 23 other agencies around here, including Tarrant County College, uh, even the Star-Telegram. We have um, uh, the Sheriff's Department. Tarrant County itself uses our system, as do a number of all our other smaller cities and, and agencies around the city. Uh, ideally, we're going to have it as we expand this process into the new radio system. It will be interoperable across all those agencies. So it's a huge thing from a public safety standpoint that that's how the police communicate, regardless of whether they have, uh, you know, cell phones and all beyond that. This is one that the city runs and owns totally. So we're able to manage it and control it. So even if the even if there are other things that are that are out of commission or not working or overwhelmed, we still have our system to manage.